Hello everybody, today I want to continue work on Linux from scratch and actually start a uh, series beyond Linux from scratch and um, I want to install the minimum thing what is necessary to continue to work uh, entirely inside the Linux from scratch. First of all, we do not have uh, internet connection and the reason is I think virtual box needs um, DHCP to work properly for NAT and um, also we need to have some software to be able to download things so my plan today is install um, DHCP and WGET and also I want to have some remote access to Linux from scratch machine uh, because it's going to be easier to SSH to this machine from my terminal and be able to copy paste and use um, things because I will would not have browser in Linux from scratch from long time it's going to be kind of tedious to type all these commands uh, manually so let's uh, start it and uh, first of all I need to download all these edit packages because uh, I don't have internet yet on Linux from scratch so I will run uh, some live CD and what we were using it's uh, mm, <coughs> xbuntu so i'm going to insert uh, xbuntu here this version hmm. no it should work without this box <coughs> so xbuntu is running booting up and as you noticed i made the clone of linux from scratch and call it uh, beyond linux from scratch blfc so just in case I messed up with something and I would able to go back, uh, slightly go back. So try Xbuntu. So you can see there is a 11 gigabyte volume. This is my Linux from scratch. We have all these uh, sources and uh, because uh, we installed everything just to save disk space I'm going to delete all of this thing we do not need it hmm. it's interesting for some reason I cannot delete it so let me try to do it from terminal <coughs> hmm. permission denied so I'd be root be able to just come on yeah better now it's empty and now I'm going to run web browser and open Linux from scratch beyond Linux from scratch com org .org. let me move it a little bit down so I can see the address here we go now hmm. here it needs to be slash <coughs> so I want to install um, DHCP so I need to download this then config install, install oh so I need to boot script here so next thing it's wget so for wget I need wget of course and there is a some uh, save file I think I did it wrong for scripts as well. Okay, wget dependencies. It's GNU TLS. Need to download this guy, and this guy requires netly. So I need to download this guy, and uh, open SSL is optional. There is a recommended things. I'm not sure. Do I need all these recommended things? And they said it's recommended and I tried before and I think it didn't work without this. Yeah, let's let's try like this. If it didn't work, we, we can just uh, restart and re-download. Um, so where everything is here, I'm going to copy it to Linux scratch. So looks good. Now let's reboot to Linux from scratch. So let's login as root and it's recommended to login as um, non-root 
when we do not have um, users so <coughs> let me I do not remember how to user so group had LFS user at mm, gonna be like we right so okay and then set the password for LFS and it's going to be LFS user then uh, I'm going to change give the uh, user owner for directory for LFS and it's uh, source here and switch to LFS that's it so now I'm going to install um, DHCPD DHCPCD so I'm going to untar it F <coughs> then let's go and look on instruction how to install it no it's Linux from scratch so I need to run looks good I guess looks good now I'm going to switch to root it's installed and then I need to configure it so install right so I need to do this thing BLFS so LFS so BLFS make install CP CD so it's installed now I need to to create the file or modify file if config so and um, on boot yes interface th0 service is not static anymore it's thcpcd so we are going to dynamically get ip and gateway and prefix and all these parameters but we need dhcp start dash b dash q I think that's it. Dash B dash U and D A C P top dash K. That's it. And uh, hopefully we will get IP address. For now we don't have internet. For instance, I'm going to Google pink google.com. It's not working, but after reboot, hopefully we will get internet. LFS LFS user now Google is we can ping Google and also we can try run telnet on port 80 and send some garbage to it and we got the response from Google like bad request or something <coughs> so we have internet it's good next step is wget so for wget this thing is recommended I tried to build without this thing and it didn't work for some reason so to do not to risk this thing I'm going to build this thing and first of all we need netly so source and I need to delete this thing so looks good make and uh, make install a oh no ah it's for test static libraries i don't know why you want to disable it but like it's kind of something bad is going to happen if i want to anyways let's disable it so now as, as a root user and then i need to change mode so then for me this one for documentation and I don't care about the so we installed now I'm going to pack GNU TLS so user p file fifty oh c ssl c pando lead does one not found to use the included lip does why it wants oh this one is 
been recommended and it kind of requires this thing. Hmm. What is it? <coughs> Can I build without this thing? Hmm. Alright. Include it. Tassel. Leap. Uh, ID engine support will be disabled. Found not found in the field. P11 found disabled. Yes. Uh, vault. Out. Was not found. This location. You generate. Yeah, I think we good uh, now. So I can remake. Okay, it looks good. Now makes install. And then, if you did not, I don't need documentation. So this one is good. Now I think, I hope we can build wget. So. Looks like now it's compiling. Yeah, it's done. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. So to install it, it make install, right? Let's try something. Google. Yeah, it works. So I think I can remove these packages. I want to keep um, boot scripts, but I will remove everything. So now I want to install SSH. So for SSH we need OpenSSL or LibreSSL portable. First of all, I want to download this thing. Pif wget. Yeah, nice it's downloading. Now let's do OpenSSL also. And it's only one dependency, it's very nice. And I don't think I would be able to use HTTPS, so I'm going to use FTP. No such file. OpenSSL 1.02D. Let me Google for this file. So I need version 102D.0.2D. This one and this one is HTTPS. So I think I can just follow the pattern. So it's open as or source hold. Yeah, it's downloading. Okay, let's build uh, open as a cell. F. Hello, zero block. What? Something not right. So let me check MD5. That's right. So why long zero block? Hmm. Uh, anyways, there is a something. Let's try to build it. Looks like it's building. Looks good. If you want to disable installing the static libraries, I don't know why they are. Do I need to disable installing static libraries? And now as the root user, let's make. 
do I want to I don't think I want to install man pages so just make install oh I'm still installing man pages interesting okay it's installed now is it it uh, that's it right because it's um, SSL so let's move on to SSH so I need to do and under root these things and now unrecognized option 6 <coughs> sysconf dir make okay now i want to run install and then install user bin and man goes to user chairman man one then it's documentation i don't want to install documentation now let's keep yeah why not so disabling root so at very end i'm going to type no this thing i'm going to do later and i don't want to do this thing and i need to install pionglin scratch make install chd and hopefully that's enough let's reboot to be sure it's still going to run at reboot time starting ssh server and let's see can uh, will be will i be able to ssh to this machine first of all i need to make the port forwarding because i'm using NAT. i do not have access to this machine but i can make the port forwarding so let's make host port uh, 10,022 and guest port is 22 so it's a SSH port and I think it's going to be enough to make it work so I'm going to run terminal on my host machine and try to SSH so Linux from scratch at local host port is 10,022 right oh yeah uh, because I already was um, connecting I was testing this out so I need to remove no known host. Oh, so actually I can remove it like this, right? Yes, LF LFS user. Okay, we are we in, which is quite nice. So I think um, I did everything what I want to do in this video. So I I'm I able to SSH. I have internet here. I can download um things and basically from this point i can do quite go quite fast uh, installing different things beyond linux from scratch so thank you for watching and uh, bye